Okay, let's look at something a bit more interesting than just a single strand. Um, I'm just gonna delete these two beginning bits, all these three construct strands. Keep all this stuff, because obviously this is handy to have for rendering and everything. Um, so delete those. And I'm gonna make a, I'll just make the usual platonic solid. And open up my attribute editor, go to shapes, gonna give it uh, triangles, let's do six. And make it maybe three, that. So, uh, obviously the way I was making them before would be very laborious if you wanted to make more than one. Um, so there are lots of other nodes to how we can generate strands. One of them is um, create uh, da, 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 da. create strands along normals. So um, we're all, I think, should we all be clear about what a normal is. Um, let me just reiterate what they are. So basically the normal is the direction that the face is pointing. So this is how renderers and the viewport know that what's the outside of the face and what is the inside. So they're all black on the inside and they're all there. So if you did sort of turned off uh, shading, if you do back face culling, see that they sort of disappear. Um, so that's basically the exterior. The direction of face is pointing for, for things like reflection and things like that. Um, let me just turn off back face culling again. And we can visualize that with, if we go to uh, platonic shape, mesh component display, display normals. So that's basically what they are. They're all these, each face, as a normal, and they point out from the face outwards. Let's turn that off. So we can do create strands along the normal. So it's going to use the normals and create strands from them. So uh, if I just bring in this, like that, ba -ba -ba. get rid of that. So plug that into the geometry, plug that into the strands. And then we get lots of strands on the normals. Um, let me just turn on that. So these are based on the point normals. So they're all coming out of the vertices. So basically, there's strands generated from vertices. So uh, let me just bring that back up. So if I made that 12, you see we get a lot more. Um, and there we go. So that's our strands. Um, I do. Do I get? Yeah, there we go. So in the viewport, they sort of go black from one angle, and the other angle you'll see the shader. They're not. I haven't got the sort of shading aspect of them in the viewport. Isn't fully functioning yet. Um, unless they made it deliberately so they look black from behind. Anyway. So that's our strands. Um, and we have on the strands from normals, some settings, so at the moment they're set to one, we can set that to 50 and then get bigger, 0.1, they get smaller. And where I had, oops, segments are basically where I made those 20 points, that's what these are. So each one at the moment has got six segments. So I can make that into 20 and it would have more. Um, so let's have a look at sort of changing some of these, how we sort of play around with it. Um, first one we want to do is let's add some uh, some sort of noisiness to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get get point position of these strands. So that will be basically the point of every every segment we're getting now. So if I then make a fractal turbulence, so just a fractal turbulence, not a fractal turbulence field, but just a fractal turbulence, and put those into the positions, so I'm outputting these, so these point positions are going to go in, they're going to have turbulence applied to them, and then they're outputting those positions again. So what I want to do is I'm going to add them back onto their original positions, so I'm going to add, and 
get the original positions, add them there, and then, like we did last week or the week before, once we get something and we change it, we have to then set it back onto the geometry again, which are these strands. So then we do a set point position, we plug in the new positions, and we have to tell it what geometry it is we're changing, so we plug that in, and then we just plug that into there, and we'll get that. So then we've got noise on these guys. Um, if we go into our fractal turbulence, we can uh, do that, or put that up to two, and they get more crazy. Um, and here you can see, uh, actually let's just get my, I want this guy, let's just bring these down just so we get less of them for the time being, let's go to the four. So you can see they're quite jaggy, um, if I go back to my strands and crank up my segments, you'll see they'll get more and more smoother. So you can see the segments in there are working. Um, so, made some straggly hairs on this guy. Um, let's take that back up to 12. So, we've got that. Um, and we can, if we wanted to, animate this turbulence. So I could use time to animate that. So if I go time, make a time node. Um, and we have seconds, frames, frame length and ticks. Generally you want to use either frames or seconds. Um, I'm going to use seconds because frames are quite quick. So I'm just going to put that into time and then hit play and see what happens. So you can see they're all undulating around. Which is interesting. Let's just do... Uh, I still got my light in the scene. Or did I delete it? I can't remember. No, I've got it. I've hidden it. H. Hide that again. Bring that up. Oops. And let's try rendering that. <laughs> and they're super thick because I seem to have made them quite thick. Uh, there we go, they're rendering. And let's just change the sizes of these because they are pretty big. So I think it's in my, it's not in the width there, is it? It's probably in my set strand shape. Let's just tidy this up a bit. L. Um, and go to set strand shape, zero one, Hit play. Nope, let's do this strand profile, which is overriding that. There we go, let's make them smaller. Um, let's make them even smaller, shall we? Let's make them a bit bigger than that. Uh, maybe a, a little bit bigger. Uh, 0.25, let's try that. It's too big now. Um, and if you want more of them, you using this method of just bringing in the mesh um, and then creating strands on. You have to make more more subdivisions in your mesh. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to sort of bypass that and generate your own sort of points to uh, create strands from.